Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Does ginkgo biloba help with memory loss in Alzheimer's disease? Well, you know, the answer is there's evidence to show that it can be helpful, but I want to throw in some caveats here as we get into the ginkgo story. You know, one of the hallmark features of dementia and Alzheimer's disease is that the brain stops making optimal amounts of the memory chemical called acetylcholine. So if you can get the brain to make more acetylcholine, that's very helpful. Oftentimes there's a thing called vascular dementia, where the, where the blood vessels are all clogged up and nutrients can't get through the blood vessels to the brain, and that leads to cognitive impairment and often seen in Alzheimer's disease as well. So where does ginkgo biloba fit in? Ginkgo biloba is the world's oldest living tree species, actually. And the leaves of the ginkgo biloba tree contain these active constituents. These active constituents are the flavone glycosides and these triterpene compounds. And what do they do? Well, they, they dilate the blood vessels in the brain to allow more nutrients to get to uh, all the brain areas. And when it does that, then brain cells can function better. It also decreases the stickiness of the blood, so more blood can flow more easily through those blood vessels and deliver more nutrients. Is there any human, are there human studies to show that ginkgo biloba has been helpful? There are studies like that. Studies show that people with early stage dementia and Alzheimer's disease, if they take ginkgo biloba at the right dose and standardized grade, there's been improvement. How does it work? By increasing blood flow to those parts of the brain, the brain can get the nutrients it needs to make the memory chemical, acetylcholine, and also get more oxygen and other nutrients that the brain cells require. The problem is this. I don't recommend ginkgo biloba. I, I think it's a bit of a, a dangerous natural agent. Here's why I say that. The agents in ginkgo biloba are powerful anticoagulants. And people taking, there have been case reports in humans where people who have taken ginkgo biloba have ended up with hemorrhaging inside the brain, subdural hematomas. And the risk of having a stroke is probably going to be bigger as well. And the thing is that it's usually going to be older people who take ginkgo biloba. People who are older, often their doctor already has them on an anticoagulant drug to start with. When you combine anticoagulant drugs and then you add ginkgo biloba to that, it amplifies the effect of the anticoagulant effect. So if a small blood vessel breaks in the brain, now you, it, the, t the blood can't clot in time and you're at a greater risk of having a hemorrhagic stroke. And that's the last thing you want to have happen. So if the person, if you're taking aspirin or ibuprofen, indomethacin, Voltaren, which is diclofenac, warfarin, coumadin, Plavix, you know, the sales of Plavix are through the roof. I mean, it's one of the largest selling drugs right now. It's an anticoagulant. You combine that with ginkgo biloba, you're, you're a walking stroke time bomb, in my opinion. Now, here's the good news. There are natural supplements and dietary practices that can do all kinds of amazing things to help the brain that don't increase the risk of having a stroke or internal bleeding. And I would choose those things over ginkgo biloba. So those other nutrients, what can they do? They can raise the brain levels of acetylcholine. That's proven. They can increase blood flow to the distal parts of the brain. Stop the brain atrophy that occurs or brain shrinkage that occurs after the age of 60. Reduce brain inflammation help to block the buildup of what's called amyloid plaque that we see in, amyloid, in um, Alzheimer's conditions. And some herbs actually can help to improve nerve transmission through the brain. These are all really important features of blocking the steps involved in Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death that we have in our society. So it's important because 45% of the cases of Alzheimer's disease occur in people over the age of 75. Yet, anyone over the age of 60 already starts to face what's called mild cognitive impairment. So as the brain ages, it becomes more susceptible to these things. Drugs aren't the answer. That part we know. The drugs for Alzheimer's disease can only slow down the rate at which the brain loses the memory chemical, but it can't help the brain synthesize anymore. And people on the drugs for Alzheimer's disease, you know, they live on average, you know, seven years and there's deterioration. So there's no cure for Alzheimer's. The trick is to use lifestyle interventions that are useful in preventing the problem and using, in conjunction with those drugs, the right diet and supplements that can help to even improve the management if someone has the condition. My problem is that 
medical doctors are not trained really well on nutrition, lifestyle, and supplementation practices that are important for brain health and to prevent and manage better these conditions of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Those things are really important. So what I've done is I've explained it all in the, in the e-book that's available right here. So that e-book that I created that's called um, The uh, Nutritional Guide to the Prevention of Memory Loss and Alzheimer's Disease, it's available right here. You should download it. It'll show you how to protect your own brain from these problems, what supplements are safe, which ones are dangerous. And all the scientific references are there, so you'll know that I didn't just pull this out of the sky. This is scientifically sound information that everybody should really uh, have access to. So you should really download it now and go through it. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see other articles I've written, footage from my live professional continuing education seminars. You'll see downloads, resources that I've created that are all there to help you lead a long, healthy, and very functional life. And all the evidence is, all the science is there to help you see that it's from good uh, uh, reference journals. Um, so what you, if you're searching any health topic, you really should use machinohealth.com. It's an ongoing, reliable resource on almost any health topic that you're looking for to make sure you're getting accurate information. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.